Welcome to Rogue Gear Reviews. I'm Tom from Morton's on the Move, and today we're taking a look at the DeLonghi Safe Heat HMP 1500 Mycothermic Panel Heater. If you're planning to do some traveling in cold weather with an RV or tent, you're probably going to find yourself in campgrounds that have electricity at the sites. Many of these times the electricity is included with your stay, so it makes a lot of sense to heat with electricity. This is the heater that we chose to heat our RV when we're hooked up to electric. The DeLonghi Safe Heat Mycothermic Panel Heater is a panel heater, which means it has a very wide front area and projects the heat forward. These are designed to be able to sit on the floor, and this one has some casters that come with it so it can roll around, or it can also be hung on the wall. Mycothermic panel heaters work by heating a large sheet of mica sandwiched between a couple electrodes, and what it does is it makes this entire sheet warm. The heater produces about 80% of its heat in convection, meaning that air will cycle up through these grates and get warmed by that panel and come out the top to warm the room. The remaining 20% of energy is converted to an infrared heat, which projects out through the room and can heat objects at a considerable distance away from the heater. This heater measures 26 and a half inches wide by 19 and a half inches tall. The heater itself is only three inches wide and if hung on a wall it's really quite thin but with the casters on the bottom it's about 10 and a half 11 inches wide if you include the bottom portion that comes with the heater. On this side you have your power controls you have off minimum and maximum heat settings. The minimum heat setting is around 750 watts at 120 volts and the max is about 1500 watts. The second knob is your thermostat control and it is numbered 1 to 6 and also has a little snowflake at the very bottom which is designed so that you can leave this in a cold room just to prevent it from freezing. There's also a little red LED indicator that will come on when the heater's on to show you that it's in operation. Besides getting warm, that little light is about the only way to know that the heater's actually operating. It does not glow, it does not have a fan, it doesn't make any noise at all, which is one of the reasons that we really like it. I'm a really light sleeper and a lot of other heaters out there that have fans in them will kick on and off and that constant cycling wakes me up. So having a really quiet heater is imperative for us. The heater weighs about 10 pounds and is relatively easy to move around and store. Door. We've had this heater for about two years and have used it a lot and overall we feel like it's a very safe heater. Pretty much nothing on this, even on the high setting, gets too hot to touch or feels like it's going to burn you. The back side is designed to be placed up against a wall and even touching it when it's on full heat you're only going to feel a little bit warm so we think that that's a really great safety feature. The heater also has automatic tip over protection in it which means that if it's accidentally knocked over, falls off the wall, etc. it's going to shut off automatically. We have a 32 foot fifth wheel with about 270 square feet of living space in it and this heater heats our RV comfortably down into the 20s without any problem. We've really come to like the mycothermic panel heater style because of the convection which is just warming the air in the room and the radiant heat that it puts out. So it feels like when you place it in front of you, it feels like sitting in front of a fireplace. Some of the cons of this heater, especially for an RV, are the size. It's a little bit larger, so you need a space to be able to put this. But being so thin, we've been able to find spaces like behind our couch or under our table that work really well. The heater does not have great temperature control. You can't set the room at 70 degrees and it's going to hold it there. You kind of have to find the heat first because the dial just has numbers on it. What we do is let the room get up to temperature, then turn the dial down until we hear it click off, then turn it back up a little bit, and that's going to basically hold the room at that temperature. Overall, we think it's a relatively high quality unit for the price. We've used it for about two years with a lot of use, and we haven't had any problems with it. We've gone through a handful of heaters before this one that didn't last near as long. We really like the way that it heats the RV and we also like having the two settings because if we're limited on power for some reason or using our small generator, we can run it on the lower heat setting and heat just the bedroom area or just the main area and it still provides a really nice heat and keeps us warm. This has been my review of the DeLonghi HMP 1500 Mycothermic Panel Heater. Thanks for watching Rogue Gear Reviews and stay warm. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel for weekly uploads of our travel product reviews.